Hey guys, it's Borgs here. I'm bringing you the first episode of my new series called Road to Revival. As you can see on the right, we have Stuart Downing. This is the player that I'm going to be basing this series around. And I'm going to go through a player career mode and I'm going to rejuvenate his career. I feel he's gone downhill since he signed for Liverpool, but I think he's a great player and he needs to be recognised for that. So I am going to be aiming for that trophy you see on the left. That is the player of the year trophy. In one season, I'm hopefully going to have achieved that. I'm going to be playing on legendary difficulty and I will keep you guys updated each video showing the goals and all the highlights of the games. I'm hoping this is going to be an entertaining series. I haven't seen anyone yet on YouTube do a My Player series with an actual player in the game. Most of the YouTubers tend to go with their own players so I thought I'd add a bit of a spin on it and start using players that don't have such a successful career as they used to. Players like Emil Heskey, Stuart Downing, Robert Green. So there will be other ideas that may come later on. But to start things off, we do have Stuart Downing. I'm going to set it up right now, as you can see. So we get things started off. I choose to play a career mode. I thought about which player to use first, and I decided that Stuart Downing would be quite a fun one, considering he's a winger. This will give lots of clips of him, because being a goalkeeper, obviously, it's going to be quite hard to get clips. Being a defender as well, you won't score many goals, so it won't be as entertaining as using a midfielder or a striker. So I thought Downing's kind of a mix of both. There'll be some good assists, hopefully, as well as some good goals. And as you see, Liverpool's a team I'm using. Uh, I go through a quick look at the players. It's quite a strong squad, and we begin loading up the new season. I'm really looking forward to putting out this series. I've been thinking about doing this for a while now. And I'm glad that I've got it started up. This is the first episode of hopefully many. I'll try and get this uploaded on a quite a good basis because at the moment I do have school. So it's going to be quite hard to find time for myself to get the editing done. So I'll try and keep it within weekly, maybe every three days. Uh, we look at my targets that we have to start off with and for the upcoming games and the league targets not too bad something I think I can do obviously the downing of last year wouldn't have been able to do this we have a look and it wants me to maintain a 7.5 or better rating so I think I can do that and we start simulating forward into the days just to see what kind of happens see if there's any transfers I'm hoping Liverpool do sign some players because they could use a bit of depth in their squad to start things off get a message from the agent telling me he wants to play for club and country and there we go, Arsenal have signed Edin Dzeko. Now I think that's a great signing for Arsenal considering they do need strikers. And you'll see later on how good that signing is in the series when I come up against Arsenal, which I thought was a really good game. Right, there we go, Liverpool keen on signing Danny. Now I would love to have him in the team. So we keep going forward. And there it is, Liverpool signed Danny for 10.5 million. I am looking forward to playing with Danny. He is a great player. He used to have five-star skills, unfortunately. He did get deducted down to four now, I believe. But he is still a great player. Hopefully he doesn't take my position, because that would be really embarrassing. So I'm hoping he'd go out on the other wing, considering Liverpool play a 4-3-3. Although, I don't know. He may slot in somewhere else. Uh, Danny signs... Raheem Sterling now feeling a bit anxious. He might not get as, as many starts as thought. So we carry on. We are approaching our first game now against Real Sociedad. I think that is. And now Fulham are interested in Joe Hart. That is crazy. I cannot see them making that transfer. However, they may. I can't see it though. So we do come up against Real Sociedad. And we begin things off. Just set the game details. As you saw, it is on Legendary. The game loads up, I'm playing right wing, and now this is what I call a fantastic start. When you see this, what happens up next. So we get the intros in. Nice little highlights there. Looks like it's going to be a good game. I'm looking forward to this first game of the season. I'm going to have to start off well, let the manager know that I mean business, and that Stuart Downen is going to be starting weekly. Gerard leads the boys out. We've got a warding goal, which is something I'm really unsure about. And you'll see from 
the clips now that are coming up that he is a very, very dodgy goalkeeper. And I hope that he does not play every single game. So we get the game kicked off here. Gerard passes it out. Skirtle back to Gerard to me. Down and plays it out to the wide. And I'm making this run down the wing. I spot the space. Now I know where I want to attack. I'm getting behind the defender. I'm driving towards goal. Stuart Down takes a shot. Goalkeeper makes a great save. It comes back out. And I am bundled to the floor. Referee, blow that whistle. We have got a penalty inside three minutes of our first game. What a start. Now this is going to be great. Can Suarez convert this? He steps up. Suarez, cheeky stutter, and he converts it. That is 1-0 in three minutes. Liverpool have started off fantastically. Unfortunately, I don't get the assist for that penalty. But I, I'm going to say I do because I thought I won that penalty very well there. Defender bundles me over. Suarez converts it. Now later on this game didn't have a lot of chances I thought I'd just show you the clips because I do want to keep this video short and as they come in attacking it's played in and now watch this this is just what is the goalkeeper doing Ward come on he saves it into the back of his own goal I was just like what are you doing that's just ruined the whole game so it finishes one all as I said I'm just going to show you the clips of the goals for this episode because I want to get it done over and quickly and then I'll get the next video up and running hopefully within the next week and I'll show you some of the other games I'm looking forward to showing you the Arsenal game coming up I tell you now that game was quality so I've got a 6.3 rating 100% shot accuracy 88% passing I got fouled once which was a penalty I thought I did alright maybe I need to do a bit more contributing to the game get myself a high rating if I do need to maintain that 7.5 for the rest of the season and contend for player of the year it's going to be a tough season I think but I think we can do it and now we have a game up against Hoffenheim unfortunately I am too tired to play in this match so the manager does sit me out so I'm going to sim it and again Ward starts in goal what's going to happen we get an early red card there for Hoffenheim the player Ox I think you call him and unfortunately the game does finish 0-0 uh, even on the 70th minute still no goals are scored and that is how this episode is going to end so this was the beginning of the road to revival I hope you enjoyed it I hope you subscribe like comment tell me what you think of the series let me know if there's anything you guys want in particular and I will bring you the next episode as soon as I can I really enjoyed making this series and I'm looking forward to it hope you guys are too I'll see you later.